Look at these thumbnails. Many of you may think creating these thumbnails are very challenging and requires professional editing skills or expensive photography equipment. However, it is wrong and I will prove it in this video by introducing a shortcut to make clickable thumbnails like big YouTubers. As big YouTubers say, Do you, do you frequently go that far? out of your way were you to, well, to capture the thumbnail yeah i mean of course everyone should i mean if people don't <coughs> click they don't watch so you, you want to give them something to click yeah so we now know without a catchy thumbnail not many people choose to watch your videos no matter how good your video is let's create game changer thumbnails In the first step, you should search and find channels with the same niche as yours that have clickbait and well-designed thumbnails, like Mr. Beast in entertainment or Ali Abdul as a lifestyle guru. For my channel and my niche, one of the best channels I can use is Ink Media. It doesn't have the exact and the same niche as me, but it has very well-designed thumbnails that I can use for some of my videos that suit. Let's say I like this thumbnail for one of my videos and it suits the subject of my video. So I click on the three dots, share, copy the link. Now I just need to download this thumbnail using one of the YouTube downloader. The downloader I normally use is YouTube thumbnail downloader. The link is in the description if you would like to use. So in this box, I will paste the link and there we go. Then click on the download button and there we go. You can save it. To create a prompt for the thumbnail, I downloaded in the last step. I use ChatGPT. This is the free version of ChatGPT that everyone can simply use it. In case this is the first time you are using it, you just need to simply sign up first. Then click on this attach button to upload your image. Now type, explain the picture and create a detailed prompt for it. Superb! ChatGPT gave us a precise and detailed prompt of the thumbnail we attached. To generate the thumbnail, we need to use an AI image generator. One of the best ones I always use is Ideogram. Again, the link is in the description for you to use it. Then I will copy the prompt from ChatGPT and paste it in this box. Before I continue, I should edit and customize the prompt based on what I need and what I like. For instance, here I should change the man to a young woman, delete this part. I like to change the color of the cap to red. The cap says pink, I will change it to edit. Obviously, I need to change the subject from he to she i don't need that yellow arrow in the background i will remove it I'm almost done with customizing the prompt. Now I need to put it on realistic. The aspect ratio should be on 16 by 9. You can choose a color palette for it if you want. And at the end, just click on the generate button. But before continuing, I need to add that Ideogram has also a free version for you to use, which give you 10 credits per week. For each time generation, you need to use two credits, which means five generation per week. And if you would like to use it more often, you can upgrade it and use the paid version. Okay. Let's click on generate. 
Perfect, these are the photos I diagram generated for me. Let's go through them one by one. This one is really great. I will download it. If you are using the free version, you only have the option to download it in the JPEG format. It says 70% quality, but trust me, it's still a really, really good quality. To prove you, I will also download it in JPEG format. This one is also great. I like this one too, so I will download it. We are done with this step, but before moving forward to the next step, I need to tell you that when you get the result, if they weren't what you were looking for, don't give up, keep editing this prompt and change it and generate different photos until you get the best result you are looking for. Let's say again for this prompt, I will re-edit it and add some more details i have also changed the prompt regarding the logos for example change the ai one to a logo for CapCut, and the youtube logo i change it to the kinemaster logo because this thumbnail is going to be for one of my videos which is on comparing two editing applications of CapCut and kinemaster I guess this one is more precise and detailed prompt compared to the previous one. Let's generate it again to see the result. Sometimes also there are some flaws with the generation like this hand, look at this finger, but wow, look at this one. As I added some detail to my prompt, it generated much more better thumbnails for me. This one is perfect. I like this one the most, so again, click on this three dots and download it. Superb, let's move on to the next step. In the fourth step, we should swap faces. I normally use faceswapper.ai and the link is in the description. You may want to use other AI tools which is totally okay, but this one I really recommend it and normally the results are very natural. So I will add the photo of my face in this box and the thumbnail here. Scroll down and click on this button. The result is perfect for me, but again, if the result generated by the tool is not fine with you, you can change the photo of your face a couple of times because maybe the photo you have uploaded is not the best gesture and you can substitute it with a new one with a new gesture. That makes the face swap result more natural. Great, so I will just go ahead and download it. So far, we've generated the thumbnail we wanted using a clickbait thumbnail. Now, what I want to do is to do some slight editing on the thumbnail using the Canva application. So let's move on to the next step. In this step, we need to add the text to the thumbnail and do some editing if it needs. So I open Canva and now I will click on YouTube thumbnail. Then I will upload the thumbnail. As I told you before, I'm creating this thumbnail for one of my videos. I will compare two applications of KineMaster and CapCut. So right now I need to change these two logos to the CapCut and KineMaster logos. Before I will go ahead with Canva, I need to remove these two logos. So for doing that, I will use photo room. This is one of the best tools which you can use to remove any unwanted objects. Upload your photo here, adjust the brush size and brush the object you don't need. I can do the same with this icon and go ahead but as I want to show you another trick, for now I will keep this red icon. At the end, just download it. I'm back to Canva and I open the picture. Now I want to add the CapCut logo. I will edit it to add some glow.
perfect now i need to add the Gne master logo the trick i wanted to show you is for instance for the Gne master logo i can go ahead and use the main logo and do the same like the capcut logo i have prepared this part of the Gne master logo by removing the red part and i mean the square part so i will just go ahead and use it here then by editing the image I will try to adjust the color and sync it with the red in background. For instance, using this filter can help. See, these are two ways and there are a lot of tricks you can use while you are editing the thumbnail. This is one of them which I use sometimes when I want to keep that round square icon. At the end, I just need to add my text. I'm done now I will download it 